Lukaku, Griezmann, Dembele, Perisic, Mbappe. Manchester United have been linked with so many strikers in the last couple of weeks. It's not the transfer window yet, but that's what the papers do. I mean, it's clear where Man United's problems have been this season with our finishing. Zlatan Ibrahimovic may nearly be on 30 goals for the season, but Man United's finishing overall has been quite poor. Our conversion rate's not good enough. Now, as I said, we've been linked to lots and lots of strikers, and Jose Mourinho has linked Man United with one striker in particular after comments that said that he would have scored at least 20 goals in this Manchester United team this year, Javier Hernandez. Now, obviously, Hernandez made a name for himself in five fantastic years at the club after joining from Guadalajara as an unknown entity, went on to play fantastically well in the 2010 World Cup. Then he came to Man United and had a barnstorming season, won some Matt Busby Player of the Year in his first year at the club. Not many players have done that. Now, Hernandez was sold by Louis van Gaal a couple of years ago, and I do think it was the right thing at the right time for the club. He didn't really suit Van Gaal's style of play, slow and cumbersome build-up, lots of possession, not many chances were being created, and that's what Hernandez needs to feed. Lots of chances, and he'll get you goals. And Jose Mourinho has been positive in how he's speaking about Hernandez. Here's what he's had to say about the little Mexican. He said, we have some players that are not really in love with the ball, you know. They are good players and they are creative players. They can create, but naturally they are not the kind of guy that is a killer. I'll give you a simple example. In the way that we play at Old Trafford, in the way that we dominate opponents, in the way we play in their box, I think Chicharito would have 20 goals easily, even coming from the bench of the last 10 or 20 minutes. He'd have 20 goals. He's a guy that naturally, when the ball rebounds here or there, boom, goal. The goalkeeper saves, he goes there, tap in, goal. A cross is coming, he anticipates at the, at the near post, header, goal. And not even coming from the bench, we have this kind of player that scores 10 or 15 goals and gives you 10 or 15 more points. We play well most of the time, not always obviously, but we create, but we don't score enough goals for the way we play. Now, Mourinho is completely right there in that we don't score enough for how much we're dominating so much opposition this season. And I can't really argue against the fact that Chicharito probably would have scored 15, 20 goals. I mean, you look at our stats, no team has crossed the ball more successfully in the Premier League than Manchester United. No player has made more successful crosses in the Premier League than Antonio Valencia. The problem is that Zlatan Ibrahimovic is not a striker that gets on the end of those. He's, tend to, he's dropped deep quite a lot this season and that's left us without our main striker in the box. Someone like Hernandez would be there every single time, as Mourinho says, making the runs to that front post. So maybe he is a perfect signing for Jose Mourinho and this style of play that we're now playing because we are creating chances and who better to get on the end of them than a natural poacher like Javier Hernandez. And Chicharito himself, he's, he's not fueling the fire, but if you check out these two social media snippets here, one is a tweet that was basically saying we should never have sold Hernandez. Hernandez liked that on Twitter. And then following Mourinho's comments, which I've just read out to you there, Hernandez also liked to tweet about those. So he's a social media savvy guy. He knows that people are going to see this and it's going to help the rumours. It doesn't mean that he 100% wants to move to Manchester United, but it just helps fuel the rumours. And Hernandez knows that. But how has Javier Hernandez been getting on over in the Bundesliga? He's been getting on very, very well. This season, he has got 10 goals, 2 assists in the Bundesliga. He's only got one goal in eight Champions League appearances, though. But his breakthrough season, his first year in the Bundesliga, he was outstanding. 22 goals in 34 appearances, including five goals in six Champions League appearances. I think he was up there for Player of the Year. He was up there for signing of the season. By Leverkusen fans loved him. And Hernandez... He's still only 28 years old. It's kind of hard to think about that in, that in that sense, but he broke through as a young kid at Manchester United. He had five excellent years at the club, then went away. Maybe he's going to come back a bit like Mark Hughes. He, he had six, seven years at the club, then went Barcelona, Bayern Munich on loan, I think, as well. Then came back for another six, seven years. One of our best strikers pre-Premier League era. Could Hernandez follow that similar path? Weirdly similar, because he went to Real Madrid on loan and then joined Bayer Leverkusen. So just like Hughes, he's played for a Spanish and a German club. Could he follow Hughes and come back to Old Trafford as well for another few years? There's no doubt in that Hernandez was one of the best strikers we've signed in recent years, up there with Robin Van Persie, I'd say. A real natural poacher. He loves the six-yard box. If there's a ball that's free in the box, he's inevitably going to get on the end of it. But we sold him. Do you think it will be right for Manchester United to even consider signing, or re-signing, sorry, Javier Hernandez this summer? Jose Mourinho has name-dropped him 
And for Mourinho to name drop a striker that he feels confident would have 20 goals in this system, it would then seem slightly strange for him to not be interested in signing that striker, especially when we could get Hernandez for very cheap as well. And he knows how to play in the Premier League. He's already loved by United fans. So I don't think there'll be too many people that will be upset with Hernandez coming back, but would he be the solution to our striking problems this season? Let me know in the comments below what you think. Should Man United re-sign Javier Hernandez? I think there's going to be plenty of people saying yes and plenty of people saying no. Make sure you put your comments down below as always. I want to know what you think. Uh, and also, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV. And if there's any other videos you'd like us to do, anybody you'd like us to discuss, make sure you leave them in the comments too. We might take your suggestions on board. Take it easy, everybody.